Hello everyone, how you doing tonight? This is Mike. I never thought I'd be doing a video about a Chromebook because in the past I've got I've, I've made a, remarks about how I don't feel they do enough for me. But I uh, I have another Chromebook here. This one is uh, the Lenovo 100E. You find them at Best Buy for about $120. I got this one shortly after the holidays, so I did save a little money. I think this this was actually less than $90, but right now you can find them for, for about $120. Anyway, we're gonna let it fire up. There it is. Sorry for this camera, it's, it's not, a, not, not one of my better cameras, but anyway, it, uh, as you can see, like any Chromebook, it fires up. Uh, this is a actually very heavy duty. It's plastic, but it's quite heavy, heavy duty. You can see it was designed for the classroom. I, uh, if you remember my video is if your is your SD card, does your SD card stick out too much? Well, I do have the half video. I do have the, uh, half size adapter and this is still as far as it goes in on some of my computers it goes all the way in on this one it doesn't but suffice that's far enough in for me to leave it in full time for memory this particular Chromebook has 32 gigabytes of memory EMC memory soldered in memory but you can put your pictures and everything on there right now I think I'm half 32 gigs so that adds, adds up this particular Chromebook does run Linux in the container my other um, older Chromebook does not, although it, it does have more power. This has the 8173C MT8173 MediaTek processor. Quad it is a quad core ARM processor. Uh, it's pretty strong. I experienced a few slowdowns, but I don't think it's the fault of the processor. I think I need to do a power a power wash on this. So it's <clears throat> if you know Chromebooks, that you start over. I just don't feel like starting over at the moment. I know that I can get everything back reusing the settings are right there, but downloading the programs, sometimes I just get tired of doing that, so I don't always want to power wash. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, the ports on the side, you have a USB port and you have a type C port and you have a video out, out port and only one light. I'm kind of disappointed, you no know, kind of, Right next to the charge port, you have a light right here. You can't see it with this. And on the other side, you have a headphone jack and a lock, Kensington lock. Okay. But like I said, it's it's really heavy duty. If you pick it up, it's a really heavy duty. And if you just want a basic for the price, I think you're, you're, it, it's pretty good. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make my notes on the Chromebook here. I think everything else you've seen about a Chromebook you've you've seen. Let's get a look around the back here. Pretty nice. You can see the Lenovo the there. And you see Chromebook. You know it's it's funny, some of the newer Chromebooks have the new emblem. This one does then not hasn't been updated I guess. But I actually like the colorful emblem here. Anyway that's my quick rundown of the Lenovo 100E. I think you're getting a pretty good deal for your money. Anyway, take care.